Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Epcot and we are going to be going around World Showcase trying unique candy and snacks from every country. This is something I love to do. I've done it in the past and we've been able to try unique things like uh, squid flavored potato chips and candy from the United Kingdom and Disney has put out more stuff so I figured we'd come on out, have some snacks, do a lap around World Showcase and just have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Like I said, I've done these videos in the past and I love it. It's always amazing the things that you will find in Epcot's World Showcase. And they just keep on opening up more merchandise locations. So they're going to be having more unique items. And I kind of just want to show them all to you. And I'm not only going to show you guys, I'm actually going to be trying a lot of these items. And it's so amazing. It's such an awesome experience that you can do here in Epcot's World Showcase. A lot of people don't even know that they sell these things inside the little stores and merchandise locations. I'm not talking about the festival boots. I'm talking about the stuff that's like packaged in other countries and then shipped over here to Epcot and sold. And I think it's just a unique experience. And I tell everyone they got to do it at least once. We're gonna jump right on into World Showcase. And normally I like to start in Mexico and then make my way around, but I thought it'd be funner to start at the United Kingdom, come back through Canada, and then make our way towards Mexico. And I cannot wait to try some United Kingdom candy. I know that they opened up a couple more merchandise locations and they have lots of options. Like I said, I do plan on getting something from all 11 countries here at World Showcase, so I'm going to keep track of how much I spend. Depending on what we get, you know what I mean, it could be a really affordable thing or it can be a really expensive thing. I'm going to try to keep it more on the affordable side, try to focus on like candies and little snacks, but I mean, I'm open to anything, drinks, anything that's kind of just really, you know what I mean, like outsourced from another country and brought over here, because I feel like that's just so unique. We're gonna start right here in the United Kingdom. And last time I made this video, a lot of these shops weren't open. Actually, I think the Toy Soldier just opened today. So I'm very uh, intrigued to see what new snacks we can find. I think we're gonna head into the sportsman shop first because I know they got a lot of candy in here. And take a look at this. We hit the jackpot of snacks. We've got some wine gums. You see this? Wine gums. Great British sweets. And then they also have some honeycomb dips. This is honeycombs dipped in milk chocolate. Look at that, that's really cool. And then they have a bunch of other candy over here on this side of the, the uh, rack. We've got uh, Galaxy, we've got Orange, we've got Mars, Turkish Delight. These are all really fun. I've had some of these before. I've had these before. These are actually really, really good. They're like uh, little wafer biscuits. Oh, well, but actually it says it right there. And then a lot of other stuff, but I'm kind of, I got my eyes on the wine gums. Now, I'm not too sure how regional some of these items actually are. I'm sure you can find them in some grocery stores around the United States, but I'm just going off what I know and things that I don't see, you know what I mean, at my local 7-Eleven. And also, it's gonna be cool to show off what the price difference is. So, I decided on getting the wine gums and it was $5.95 for a bag. So, if you guys see wine gums like being sold uh, elsewhere, let me know how much it costs. You know what I mean? I wanna know how much of an upcharge we're actually paying. So like I said to start off, we've got some wine gums that were $5.95 and then we also got a uh, Turkish Delight which was $3.95 but I still want to go in the Tory uh, shoulder here, shoulder, because that just reopened. Oh, I see some Dalmatian stuff too. Oh my lord, look at all of this Dalmatian merchandise. I am obsessed. Wow, I think I have to get Gracie a dog collar. This doesn't count towards our budget <laughs> for our snacks. This is for personal. This is personal. I gotta get her, a, yeah, I gotta get her a collar. I would get her one of the harnesses, but I don't like that. I mean, I like this pattern because it has the writing on it, but this is so cool. Yeah, we gotta get her one. I don't know which size she would be though. I think she's a large. Let's go with the large one. It's pretty cool to see this store open because I think it's been closed for a really long time and I'm just noticing it now, but I think Christopher Robin's room is still closed off. It's not accessible to the public, cast members only. 
straight back there is where Christopher Robin's room used to be. I mean, it's still there. Everything's intact. And that's where you used to be able to meet Winnie the Pooh. And now it's kind of backstage, cast members only. I wish they'd bring that back. They got all the Pooh merchandise in here. I wonder if they had a Dalmatian meet and greet. I would literally die if they Disney had a Dalmatian. I don't know how they would do it, but I would literally die. All right, enough of the Dalmatian business. Even though Gracie is now a proud owner of a new collar, which she deserves, uh, let's dive into some of these snacks. I think we're gonna start off with the uh, wine gums. Like, isn't that so cool? Now these were $5.95. And also, I only got the Turkish, I got Turkish Delights just because I think I remember trying these. I'm not too sure if I have or not, but I got them and they were $3.95. So we're just gonna count this because we're doing one from each country. So this is $5.95, $5.95 for these. And I like that we're gonna be able to open these up and not have to eat like a lot of them. I'm probably only gonna eat like one or two. I always go for the red stuff. Like any, any gummies or anything like that, I go for the red ones. Oh, there we go. Oh, this one says port. It's a port wine. <laughs> it's a port wine. I love it. Oh, those are really good. Mmm. On the back, it actually tells you some of the flavors, but I like just tasting it and guessing, and they all have writing on them. I'm guessing for each uh, wine right here. This is gin. It says gin on it. I wonder what this one could be. Because it's, oh, maybe pear, orange, and lime. That's what it looks like. So we're going to try the gin one. This is exactly what I'm talking about being a unique thing. I love this. This is such an amazing like little snack. $5.95 and they're delicious. They're amazing. I, I just ran into my friend Vicky and Vicky, you've had wine gums before? Yeah? yeah? Are they good? How much do they cost in the UK? How much are the gums? A pound? <laughs> it's $5.95 here. Oh, yeah. Do you want one though? Yeah. Yeah, here, dab right on in. Grab a little uh, wine gum. Oh, very fancy. I like these though. I'm going around and trying all the different candy from all the different countries. So this was my pick here. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, Vicky. I hope you have a great day. <laughs> well, there you go. You heard it from Vicky. Wine gums are about a pound over in the United Kingdom, and she likes them. And I don't see why not because I love them. Now it's time for our next country and it's gonna be Canada and we're gonna make our way into the trading post here. I hope they have more candy. Last time they didn't have a big selection, but if they don't, maybe we'll just get some ice wine or some, some nice beverage that they have here. Oh wow, take a look at this. We've got some maple syrup here. It looks like it's Jakeman's, Jakeman's pure maple syrup. And then also we have a coffee crisp a coffee crisp and this is four dollars and 45 cents i think this is the only candy that i see so far i don't see anything else but we're gonna keep looking around if not we're gonna try a coffee crisp and i've never had it it looks like that's the only candy that they have in there other than the maple syrup even though i did think about just buying the maple syrup and then chugging some of it i'm sure that would not be good and i wouldn't be able to finish the day but uh four dollars and 45 cents and actually says product of canada on there and it is a well, wafer bar with coffee cream center and uh flavored with other natural flavors i like coffee snacks and uh the cast member in there told me that uh it's just for canada so we're gonna we're gonna dive right on in i'm so excited for this here we go i don't think i've ever had a coffee candy before really now that i think about our coffee candy bar so mm. it's like a big kit kat a big kit kat with a little coffee taster well maybe we can say a coffee kit kat also I'm very excited when we get over to Japan to try all the new flavored Kit Kats they have over there. Like the green tea Kit Kat, I think I got that last time, but they have so many new additions. But this is actually really, really good. I liked it. I'm really hoping that uh, we find more non like chocolate candy uh, around World Showcase because I mean, I'm not gonna eat all this food. I know that there's some people that like think that I uh, eat all of this food whenever I do reviews like this. They think that like I'm gonna eat a whole candy bar here, a whole candy bar there, and uh, it's not possible. I don't suggest doing that, or you're gonna have a very, very sick stomach, probably three countries in. So I can't really carry it around with me because it's gonna be melty and I don't like wasting food, but you know, no one wants chocolate pockets. Nobody wants, no one's got time for chocolate filled pockets. 
I also like reading the packages of anything that you buy from other countries because they always say things different. Like this one says, contains a bioengineered food ingredient. <laughs> ingredient, isn't that so funny? I wonder what the bioengineered food ingredient was. That's just so, that's just like something funny that you wouldn't normally see on packages, you know? And it's made by Nestle. So far, we've spent $5.95 and $4.45. Now, I do get my annual pass discount right now, which is 30%, but I realize a lot of people that watch this video don't actually have annual passes, so we're just gonna do it at face value, and uh, we're off to a good start. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm gonna make sure to let you guys know what my favorite snack was of the whole entire video at the end. It's gonna be hard to top those wine gums. Now it's time to go to Mexico. We're heading to Mexico. And here we go, Mexico. Very busy area over here, lots of people. And normally I don't find a lot of snacks inside the Mexican pavilion, but uh, like I said, they keep adding new things. Like they didn't have that coffee uh, candy over in Canada and they didn't have the wine guns last time I did this video. So maybe we'll find something in Mexico this time. It is gonna feel good to get out of the sun a little bit. And we have China and Norway up next. And I feel like between China and Japan, they have the most unique items like they, they sell in their little gift shops. And I'm so excited because they change those out weekly. Weekly, they told me they change out all the different items. It's all what they can get their hands on. So you never know what we're gonna find there. We are on a roll, because look at this. They have some authentic Mexican chocolate in here. They didn't have this before, so now we really are finding at least some candy from every single country, and I gotta get it. I'm so happy we were able to find something because like I said, last time I came here, they really didn't have anything. They had hot sauce and that was about it. But uh, yeah, we got a chocolate bar, some authentic. And wait till I show you guys like the packaging. It is really impressive. I, I mean, it got me very excited to try it. Just take a look at this packaging. The chocolate of the gods, authentic Mexican chocolate, 62% cocoa. This is really cool, caca. This is, I mean, I'm very excited to, to try this. <laughs> it's a big bar too. Wow, this is fancy. I mean, anything that says chocolate of the gods is gonna catch my attention. So we're gonna dive right on in here. I don't even know how to open it. I don't know if it's a slide. Oh, look at this, it opens up like an envelope. How fancy, and this is $6.95, $6.95, so $5.95, $4.45, $6.95. Hope you guys are keeping track. I might keep track, maybe I'll put it in the little corner there. Let me see, I'm not opening up this like the nicest way either. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, wow. A bar of chocolate makes everything better. There's a whole lot happening to this. We'll, we'll look at that later, but I gotta open up this bar. I was thinking, I, did I get the golden ticket? <laughs> wow, I'm so excited, I feel like Charlie right now. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see. Ooh, fancy, look at that. I'm gonna take off a little squirrel, a uh, little square here. Snap, there we go. I mean, I think it just tastes like chocolate to me. I don't taste anything fancy. <laughs> when it's a plain chocolate bar like that, it kind of just tastes like chocolate to me. I mean, chocolate is an antioxidant and helps fight depression, hypertension, and stress. And uh, the chocolate and the Nobel Prize. I mean, A plus for the packaging though. A, A plus plus, I'll tell you that right now. That is really, really cool. But I'm happy that we were able to find something. All you need is love. Ba, 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 da, 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 and some chocolate. I think the chocolate is actually starting to grow on me. I only had one bite and it just like sitting in my mouth right now and I can just really taste the intense flavor afterwards. Like that's crazy. When I first bought it, I was like, tastes like chocolate. But then as it just sits there for a little bit, I'm like, holy moly, that was very like potent chocolate. Like very, very strong chocolate. Three countries down and now we've made it over to Norway. I'm excited to see what Norway has to offer. And then we've got China, Germany, Italy, America, Japan, Morocco, France. So we got a lot more to go. I'm gonna have to pick up the uh, pace a little bit. 
I'm also a little afraid of rain ruining our day. Uh, I was trying to hurry up as much as possible. I've been here for a long time. I know you guys kind of watch the video and think like it's been just a couple minutes, but I think I've been here for about five hours already and I've only gotten three countries down. So <laughs> I'm a little bit in trouble, but it's a little windy here, so rain might be coming. Something else that's really weird, when I bought the Turkish Delight and then the coffee cream, uh, the coffee uh, crisp over in Canada, they melted instantly when I took them out of the store. But this chocolate from Mexico is still like solid. It's not even melting. It's not even melting. They have a nice selection of different snacks and candies in the back of Norway too. Look at this. It looks like they just keep on adding more and more and more. We got Kex right here. Kex. Filled wafers and milk chocolate. Kind of reminds me of Kit Kats. And then they've got this right here. But the Mexico chocolate was like 63%. This is only 47%. Then they've got some, I don't even know what these are, but that looks so cool. Soft toffee covered with milk chocolate confection. They look really fun. These are individually wrapped too. And then they have some Annas. Some Annas, Swedish Thins. These are ginger and those ones are almond. I don't know which one to get. I mean, this is, they all look really cool. Everything, everything looks fascinating and interesting. They had lots of good options inside the store there, but ultimately I ended up going with the Dummel. I think that's how I'm saying it. D-U-M-L-E. And it says Faza. Faza. Oh, I sound like gold member. <laughs> Faza. You're, you're Faza. But yeah, I ended up going with these Dummel. And these are individually wrapped inside this bag. That's why I ended up going with it. And it's toffee covered in milk chocolate. Or milk chocolate covered in toffee. And uh, $14.95. $14.95. So we're going to dive in. I'm going to open this bad boy up somehow. Ah, that did not work. Oh yeah, it did. Look at that. I'm gonna pull out a little dummel. I hope I'm saying that right. Oh look at, see? I like that, that they're individually wrapped. That makes it a little bit easier to actually store. And maybe I can hand some out. Maybe some people would like to try some. Break it open. Looks like a little chocolate. I'm gonna go for it. Oh. These are very good. This is also the first time we bought something that doesn't have English written on it. This is uh, all Norwegian, everything on the side here. So that's really, I don't know what it says, but that's very interesting. And I think these are fun. These are actually really, really good. The toffee is almost like gum. In fact, I think it's the closest thing you can get to gum in the parks. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I got those. Now I have a bunch of them, so see if people would like some. You know, <laughs> I run into a lot of people when I'm out and about in the parks. They always, uh, you know, come up and they say hi and they, you know, want to talk. So usually I'm like, hey, would you like a candy? You know what I mean? So I don't do it from strangers. If they know who I am, I'm not a stranger. It, this is uh, Norwegian candy. <laughs> It, it's yeah, it's called the well, it's it's called Dummel, I believe. It's soft toffee covered in milk chocolate. So there, there you go. grab all in in there. You can open up the bag. I opened up just a little bit, but they're all individually wrapped. There we go. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, some Dummel for everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you might like them. They're pretty good. I mean, I like them. I'm sure we will. Yeah. yeah we like anything Ooh. sweet, don't we? Very. Oh yeah. Yeah, very good, right? A little toffee. Yeah. I love it. Thank you, guys. Looks like the Dummels were a hit, and now it's time to move to China. And I am very excited for China. There's going to be some really interesting things in that pavilion that I cannot wait to show you. Last time, I think we had the squid potato chips, and we mixed it with a special like bubble tea, and it was not a good combination. But I'm willing to try anything unique. I ran into some more friends. Would you guys like some Norwegian candy? Yep. Yes. Candy from Norway. Yeah, here, just go ahead. They're all individually wrapped, so just okay. reach in and grab any that you want. And happy birthday, Lindsay. That's so awesome. Enjoy the candy. Thank Hope you guys have a great day. Thank Bye. <laughs> Looks like we got a little rain when we were in the Norway pavilion, but it's starting to clear up a little bit and there's a lot to do in China. And look at that dog's raincoat. Holy moly. I get so excited. I'm like a squirrel. I'm like, <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> there's a dog with a raincoat, but we're heading to China. <laughs> 
I have successfully gave away all of my Domo. All of my toffees are gone now, so how cool is that? I'm glad other people get to enjoy them, and we'll see what other things we get if we get multi-packages. I mean, I would give away anything, but once I open it, if it's not individually wrapped, I don't want to actually give that out to anybody, especially in these times, you know? Into the house of good fortune we go. Like I said, this is probably my most excited uh, stop. Oh wait, no, Japan. Japan and China, definitely both. Here are the grilled squid flavored chips that I had before. These were actually really interesting. They had a very strong seasoning and then it just tasted like a regular potato chip. Then they also have cucumber potato chips, roasted fish flavor, and I don't even know what this one is. What is that right there? Is that a prawn? I don't know, is that a shrimp? Maybe a shrimp flavored? I also believe they have steak flavored Cheetos. I'm pretty sure that's steak flavored. I mean, I'm looking at the picture right here. I can't tell though, but that's that's really interesting. There's so many like interesting things. That's what I said, I love coming into here and just exploring. Oh, here's some more prawn crackers here. That's a crawfish chip right there, it looks like. I don't even know what this is down here. Can't read it. Oh, this is just barbecue flavor. Oh, nothing special about barbecue. <laughs> they also have a good selection of mochi too. Look at bubble milk. I don't know what this one is. Oh, peppermint maybe? And then they've got another one down here. Tropical fruity. There's so many, there's so many goodies. Oh, what is this? Ooh, what is this? Assorted fruit jelly drink. Ooh, I'm kind of, I'm intrigued here. I'm intrigued in this. I think we're gonna have to get one of these. The assorted fruit jelly drinks are $2.95, but I don't see any flavors on them, so we might just be going in blind. Oh, wait a second. Oh, this one must be lemon because there's lemons in the background. This one looks like grapes, maybe? And then this one might be peach? I don't know, I can't tell. Can't tell what the uh, fruits are in the background. So I guess we'll just go with the lemon one. I think that's, or you know what? Let's go with this one, because if that's grapes, that would be a good one, I like grape. Okay, I think I went a little extra and I ended up getting a couple of things. Now, like I said, total wise, I wanted to just give you a price perspective of what it's like if you wanted to do this. So we're only gonna add the highest dollar amount, which is 550 to the total. But I was like torn because I didn't know what to get and I decided to get a couple of things. So first off, hold on, let's see. I had to try the steak Cheetos. Steak Cheetos, that's what they are, look at this. Isn't it insane? Steak Cheetos. And then, let me see here, hold on. I wanted to try the black truffle potato chips. Look at this, it's so funny though. Black truffle flavored. I don't like truffle. I don't know why I got it. I got it because I was like, hey, I'm gonna experiment, do something fancy. And then to drink, I ended up getting the little fruit drink. Now I'm hoping that this is a grape drink and not a plum drink. It looks like it's a grape drink, so I think we're good, but it's gonna be like a little applesauce. So we're gonna dive in. First things first, I think we should try the steak Cheetos, because I just think that's gonna be so good. Like, I couldn't pass this up. And I had to ask them if it was steak flavored, even though there's a steak on there, I couldn't read what it actually said. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, this looks really, really good. And we have this as our backup in case it doesn't taste good. But we've learned our lesson, because once if this doesn't taste good, then we're gonna go, ah, uh, uh. <laughs> Gotta make sure we got air in the bag. That means guaranteed freshness. Also, I love my shirt for today. It kind of reminds me of an Epcot shirt, but it's a Pixar shirt. So it has a little bit of everything on there. Roosevelt is rocking it. And uh, yeah, it's gonna pop the, pop the uh, Cheetos. Ooh. It's funny though, because they don't look like very che cheesy though. Look at, they're not very cheesy at all looking. They actually look like white, like, I don't know. Gotta give it a little smell first. There we go. All right, here we go. Steak Cheetos. Oh, that's amazing. I love the steak Cheetos. I don't even taste cheese, though. That's the thing. I just taste steak. Steak and corn. <laughs> it is so good. I'm so happy that I got these. I am, like, beyond happy. 
because I like the steak Cheetos so much, I didn't actually use my little fruit drink. So I'm gonna use that as a chaser for the black truffle potato chips because I don't think I'm gonna like them. But I wanna try it, I wanna experiment. I wanna be able to say I had black truffle potato chips. So here we go. Time for some, time for some truffles. Gotta check the bag. If you pop it, it's only gonna pop out of the bottom, so we're not doing that. Oh, ooh. I don't think I'm gonna like this. Oh boy. Oh lordy. Looks like we got some pepper on there, it looks like, or is that the truffle that's on there? Let me try to focus in on the potato chip itself. I don't know, I don't know about this. All right, here we go. Well, that's not bad. I don't hate that at all, actually. Look at this. I'm going in for another chip. See that? It's definitely a very flavorful chip, though. Holy moly. Maybe I do like truffle. I'm kind of torn because I could have swore when I tried truffle at the France, I think it was like a truffle croissant. I did not like it at all, but these are amazing. Like, they're really actually good, both of these are. I don't know which one I like more. I mean, all right, I think I like the steak Cheetos better, but these have so much more flavor. I mean, if you guys are looking for a really good experience, then dive on into some black truffle <laughs> potato chips, because it is definitely a unique experience. But wait, there's more, because we have the fruit drink here. $2.95 for this. No. No. I don't like that at all. I've been deceived. I don't like that at all. I thought it was going to be like applesauce because of the packaging. Like, you know, I thought it was going to be... <laughs> I mean, it is great though, but it felt very weird. I think it was the texture that caught me off guard. I can't believe I was betrayed by this. I was getting this to like kind of like use it as a chaser for these and these were great. Now I feel like I need to have a truffle chip to get the taste of that out of my mouth. <laughs> I feel like maybe I should have gotten a lemon one. The China Pavilion never disappoints. I'm so happy. <laughs> this was such a great experience. We're gonna keep coming back and doing it again and again because they're always changing out things and new things are coming in and there's always something new to experience. As long as there's something new, I'm gonna experience it. And now, it's time we make our way to Germany. And here we go. We have made it over to the Germany Pavilion. And I'm sure some of you guys were thinking maybe something Werther's-ish, you know, because they have the whole entire Werther's store. But I wanna get something a little bit more, I don't know, like unique, something more unique to Germany, because I think I can get Werther's things everywhere. So we'll actually go look around the wine cellar a little bit. I think they have some really awesome things inside there. Right inside the wine cellar, they have a whole bunch of different candy and treats. Of course, they have the Harbo, which is basically gummy. They have ginger lemon. Look at this. Ginger lemon. Doesn't that sound so cool? And then they've got uh, peaches, happy cherry, star mix, sour spaghetti. These are all like popular things that you could find all around. But they do have some like really cool like chocolates. And I don't even know how to pronounce any of these. <laughs> I, I mean, I can try my best, but this is one of them right here. It is, no, don't even know, marzipan. It's a marzipan with dark chocolate. It's all in German in the back there. And then down here, look at these fancy things. Now these are like really fancy. And I think we should try these. I think we should go with these fancy things. I don't even know what it says on there. I can't read it, but I'm sure it's chocolate. It's gotta be chocolate something. All right, so I decided on getting the Mozart chocolates here. And like I said before, I didn't know, I don't know what is inside them. I don't know what they are. I just kind of assume that they're chocolates. And I was asking around, but they didn't have any cultural representatives in there. So nobody knew. And then when I went to go cash out, it came to, I think it was like 13 something. It was like $13. And I was like, wait a second, $13 for these? And I was like, that seems like so expensive. And then the cashier told me there was alcohol in it. And I was like, is that really? I didn't know that. Like, you know what I mean? I couldn't tell. But then when I Googled it, because I, I Googled the name, it said it is a uh, basically a pistachio marzipan 
almond nougat chocolate thingy. <laughs> so I don't know what we're gonna be getting ourselves into, but the packaging is pretty fancy. So we're gonna open it up and dive in. And these are all individually wrapped too, so that makes that a little bit interesting. If it's pistachio, you guys know I love pistachio. I'm all about the pistachio, and I like the little Mozart on it. Look at that. That's very cool. So we're diving right on in. Open this little bad boy up. Don't want to take a bite of a whole one, just a bite of a little bit, because I want to see what's in the inside. Mmm. No way. Look at that. These are phenomenal. Holy moly. I like this a lot. I definitely don't taste alcohol in it, so I don't know if that part was right, but this is like an enhanced almond joy. I mean, the nougat is fantastic, the pistachio and the almond. This is amazing. I've never had these before, but I'm in love. I'm in love. These actually might beat the uh, wine gummies for me, honestly. It is such a unique flavor. Honestly, I, I mean, wow. The pistachio, so good. Wow. So here you go. You want over some candy? Yeah, you're over 21. These are Mozart. They're all, like, they're very fancy. Go ahead. There we go. And that one's for you. Yes, they are. I mean, they've got pistachio and almond and nougat in inside of it. And I bought them, and they were $14 for, like, five, six of them. So I was like, these gotta be pretty fancy. Yeah, I feel honored that you're sharing with us. Oh, of course. All right, let's yeah. See. Right? It's like an enhanced almond joy. Yeah. If you like pistachio. Yeah. I should have said, are you allergic to nuts? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you guys. I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Mozart for the win. And now we are gonna keep on moving along and it's time to get on over to Italy. Like, we're almost done. Italy, America, Japan, France, Morocco. We're not even halfway done. Holy moly. <laughs> and we made it. Next stop, Italy. And last time we were here, we had some pink donuts. I don't know if you guys remember the pink donuts. I made a TikTok about it, and a lot of people really liked it. But, uh, yeah, we'll explore around and see what new offerings that they have. I like some of these people's... Uh, uh, shirts like one shirt says I've got a snake in my beer <laughs> Of course like the classic drinking around the world shirts. I've got a snake in my beer <laughs> Oh look at this they got tons of stuff and this is some of the things I was talking about They have like little pink donuts, but I think they're all sold out actually at the moment I think they sell these in the store too and uh, yeah, it's $9.99 for a whole entire cake. But I'm not interested in those. What I'm interested in are these little things up here. These nougat. I like this. They have all different flavors. Raspberry. They have exotic fruits on that one. I don't know what this one is. Lemon and orange. Ooh, lemon and orange sounds good. I think we're going to get one of these, actually. I don't know how much they are, but I'm all in. I'm invested. All right, guys. I went with the nougat. And this is the lemon and orange one, citron and orange. It was $7.99. $7.99, are you out of your mind? <laughs> but uh, adding that to the total, I don't even know where we're at so far. I mean, it's a, I think I, I've been spending a lot more than I thought I was. I mean, there are cheaper ways, but I'm kind of all for the experience. Oh, well, let's open this bad boy up and open it up from the bottom. There we go. Look at this. I don't think I've ever had like a nougat like this before, so first time for everything. Interesting. I like it. It definitely has a unique texture, especially the bottom part. At first when I bit into it, I thought I bit into like, like if you guys seen I like had a confused face because I was like, did I just eat a wrapper? Because this kind of tastes like paper. Is this, oh my lord, is it a wrapper? No, it's not a wrapper. I didn't know what that was. I was like, wait a second. But there's almonds in there. I don't know, it's okay. But not for $7.99. I feel like this right here being $7.99 was probably the most amount of like bang for your buck. Like everything else was like really unique and interesting. But this is just like a bar for $8. Like I don't know. I don't know, I like it. Maybe I should try different flavors though. But we'll do that another day. Also, the soft nougat is what, like, so the soft nougat is just the taste of what I was tasting, and that's with the almonds, and then the lemon and orange part is on top. 
those are all just candied lemon and oranges. So the nougat itself isn't orange or lemon flavored. <laughs> As I was enjoying this wonderful little nougat, I noticed this guy staring at me from the back there. Look at this, I wonder what this says. I mean, I can Google it if I wanted to right now, but it's still very interesting reading that right there. And that was kind of my face when I ate or drank the uh, grape jelly drink over in China. I wonder if he would like the nougat. <laughs> Sometimes I'm such a kid. <laughs> Well, friends, I've had to make an executive decision, and I think we are going to skip over America. Only because I can get candy basically anywhere, like in America. But, uh, you know, I figured it would save us some time because we're losing daylight. I've been here for a long time today, especially with the rain. Set us back a little bit. And I think I'm like at, like, I think seven, maybe seven hours so far. I don't know what time. I got here at noon, and I think it's like 6.30. So almost seven hours I've been here. The good news is, is we're going to be able to hop right over to one of my other favorite countries right here, Japan. And we're going to try a lot of cool things from in here. Maybe some Kit Kats if they've got some unique flavors. But if not, I'm just open to, I'm open to anything. I'm open for suggestions. Hello, how are you? That's the way. <laughs> they keep all the good stuff in the back. So we always head back there first. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Take a look at all this candy. So much. They got gummy candy. They got Pocky. They got the Kit Kats. Right here is the cheesecake Kit Kat they have. And then this one, I don't even know what this flavor is. Ooh, maybe cinnamon? I think cinnamon. That one's dark chocolate. Here's the green tea matcha ones. These ones are really good. Strawberry. Very fancy. They got a lot of different stuff. They got some gummy candy up here. Ooh, I don't know what to get. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be a lot of good choices. Decisions are gonna be needed to be made. They've got musk melon candy, super cola. I'm I'm interested in the super cola actually. I don't even know why. I'm just kind of very intrigued by this super cola. They've got dried squid, like not squid flavored potato chips, but real dry squid right there. And then also they've got. I think these are crabs. I don't even know what these are, but you eat the shell. Like, look, you can see the little pinchers right there. You see that? I think I should get it. What do you guys think? Should I try this? Oh, and then they've got some more here too. I don't even know what these are, but I think I should do it. And then try the super cola too. I wonder if you just eat those. You do. I've gotten them before. They're weird. I'm going to eat one. <laughs> yep. You've made my mind up. <laughs> When I came before, I said, that's the weirdest thing you can find in my body. Nice. <laughs> this has got to be the most adventurous thing I have ever eaten. Like, this is crazy. I, I'm so excited to do it. But, like, at the same time, I'm a little scared because once if I don't like it. And you guys are seeing, like, first-hand reactions. You know what I mean? There's no cutting when I just open up a package or something and then eat it. So, I'm kind of nervous, but I'm excited. I asked some of the people that work inside the store and they said that it is crab and it's just like seasoned crab and you eat the shell you eat the claws you eat everything so <laughs> okay we're going for it and i think it's resealable it is resealable maybe yeah it's got like a tear line look i'm fogging up already i'm fogging up i'm getting nervous i'm like oh boy oh i almost poked myself in the eye all right here we go I'll open this bad boy out oh god no Whoa. The smell is really bad. What did I do? What did I do? All right, I'm going for it. I'm going for it no matter what. I'm gonna pull one of these little guys out. Ooh. Oh boy. Look at this, look at the little pincher. Look at the claw, I'm gonna try to show, focus in on it. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> okay, all right, I got a Powerade. I got a Powerade. <laughs> I'm gonna open up the Powerade first. I feel like it's gonna taste like nothing. It's gonna taste like nothing. It had a really funky smell when I first opened it though. And I also got the Super Cola uh, hard candy because it's kind of like a root beer barrel, but a cooler one. I figured that's gonna be a good thing for afterwards. So, Ooh, here we go. Here we go. No. Oh, 
it's coming up my, my throat. Oh boy, that was not a good idea, guys. Holy moly. Oh, I don't like that. Nope, nope. That was definitely a one and done for me. Never, never again. And honestly, I'm just thinking about it now. I do not like that at all. It hurt my throat a lot. Like I felt the little claws in my throat. I probably should have chewed a little bit more, but it was so bad. I just drank it down and that was a big mistake. I'm glad that I got the super colas to make me feel better. These are $5.49, but this is definitely gonna get the taste out of my mouth. And these are individually wrapped too, see? Hey, how are you? Very good, we're gonna have a super cola. There we go. Huge fan. Oh, thank you guys. Mm. Very nice meeting you. Oh, they're sour. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Oh. We're doing, oh. Are you having a good day today? I am having a good day. I'm That's so good. sorry. I just ate a crab and that was a very sour thing. Would you like one? I'm good, thank you. Would you like one? How sour. Super sour. Crazy sour? Yeah. Crazy sour. It's pretty bad. I just bought them. They're oh, individually okay. wrapped super colas. I'm going to have to try one if they're that sour. Oh, yes. Maybe I'm a baby. <laughs> super <laughs> cola. It was very sour when I first tried it. Now it tastes very delicious. Sounds weird. Is it sour? <laughs> it's sour? It is very sour. Yeah, all right, very good. <laughs> it wasn't just you. I'm glad. <laughs> I just, oh my God. So I just ate one of these. Oh. Like, yep. And I, 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 <laughs> crab. yep. And I got the super coolers because I thought it would be like a good thing for afterwards. And it's so bad. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> but thank you. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. <laughs> that might be one of my most favorite moments in a video ever. What a chain of events. First, we're eating the crab, and it's so bad. Then we're drinking the Powerade, and then I swallow the crab, and I can feel its pinchers like cutting the inside of my throat. I'm like, uh, uh, and then I grab the super cola. I did not know those were super sour, and I grabbed one to try to like use it as a chaser, and it just hit me out of nowhere, and then. I have some uh, friends like coming up and saying hi and I gave them some like that was so classic I'm so happy I just like just let it all go and let it roll with it and then as you got into the center of that super cooler the sour hit you again so we were sitting there talking and then all of a sudden we're like uh, uh. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're gonna have to skip over Morocco too because they have not yet to open up their merchandise locations. The only merchandise locations they have are this one, like this one right here, and they don't sell anything in here. Like they don't have any like candies or beverages or anything like that. So there's nothing for me to try. Now I could buy something from like a stand, but I really wanted to keep this focalized on, like I said, things that were like packaged and shipped over here you know what i mean and the same thing goes for america that's why i skipped over america because they don't even really have anything other than the fact that i can just get american food anywhere but uh hopefully soon everything in here though it's just kind of nothing like you know what i mean i don't know it's, it's hard to explain but morocco is not here <laughs> And since we skipped over Morocco, we have made it to France. And this is our final country for this evening. We did visit all 11 countries, but we only got nine things. Well, we did get duplicates though. So let's see what they have here. I know that they have some fancy stuff back over where they sell the wine, but look at that sunset that's happened over there. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. I love when we have this beautiful sunset happen. It's like the golden hour. And I just ate at Chefs de France right here. And I had the escargot, I think a couple of weeks back. It was a really cool experience there too. And uh, yeah, last stop here. Last stop. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw some new treats right inside here. So we'll take a peek see. They also sell the wine in here, but they have a lot of good stuff. Never know what you'll find in here. Looks like they've got some lollipops in here. You got a little strawberry, a little lemon, a little orange. And then they sell some French mints. They've got violet and uh, rose flavored mints. I couldn't mind going for some mints. After a very long and unique day, a rose mint sounds perfect. Nice, easy way to end the night, especially after having those crabs. And it costs $5.99. $5.99.
Look at that for some mints. I wonder if it opens up fancy. I don't want to spill them all over the place. You ever open up a thing of mints and they go everywhere? Oh, look at this. They look very nice. I'm gonna grab a little minty here. Ooh, they taste like a rose. Taste like a fragrance. Well, like a rose is a fragrance. It's very good though. I mean, it's better than having the crab taste in my mouth, but I liked it. It's a very cool. So I think that's gonna do it for the video. It was a lot of fun. I wish that Morocco will start selling some more stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely do this again. I feel like we can keep coming back and making these videos if they keep changing things up and adding more items. I just love it. I love being able to, ever since coming here the first time and thinking this is the closest I'll ever get to traveling the world. Cause in my mindset, like when I first came to Epcot, like I, I know I talk about it all the time. That was like the biggest deal. When I came to Disney World, I felt like I accomplished the greatest achievement of my life. Never I never would have dreamed that I would have ever traveled anywhere else in the country and I still haven't left the country but right now when I first got here and at current to date this is the closest I'll ever get to really traveling the world and uh, yeah uh, I'll put the total in right down here uh, hopefully if I can add it all up if not I hope you guys enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it oh I like that we'll see you next time bye